Within the blood plasma, heparin by itself does not have any anticoagulant activity. Unfractionated heparin binds to the inactive antithrombin. This binding activates it through a conformation change, then allows the active antithrombin to bind and interact with factor 10A, leading to its effect in the plasma to stop the conversion of thrombin from prothrombin thereby inhibiting the production of fibrin from fibrinogen and the end result is preventing the formation of any further clots. Now in the same way the unfractionated heparin binds and consequently causes a conformation change to the inactive antithrombin. This accelerates the interaction between the active antithrombin and thrombin. Unfractionated heparin serves as a catalytic template to block between thrombin and fibrinogen, which is responsible for its inhibition of fibrinogen to fibrin. Therefore, the end result is to prevent further formation of any clots within the plasma. Now, low molecular heparin binds to the inactive antithrombin. This binding causes a conformation change and activates antithrombin. This in turn accelerates the interaction between the active antithrombin and factor 10A, leading to the similar effect, which is the de decrease of prothrombin to thrombin, which further inhibits fibrinogen to fibrin and thus prevents further blood clotting. However, with low molecular heparin, it does bind to the inactive antithrombin, activating it. This accelerates the interaction between the active antithrombin and thrombin, which is responsible for the inhibition of fibrin production from fibrinogen. However, with low molecular heparin, it is too short to bridge the antithrombin to thrombin, which explains its reduced activity on thrombin.